Hello, welcome back. This is part three of the project log. Today I'm adding this bar which you saw in the last episode. And this will attach this lever here all the way along to this mechanism under here to release the door. So I'm going to build a mount to go here for this lever to attach to. This will connect on each end and that will pull that. So we'll get making that. Right, here is that connecting rod. I've cut some rebates in each end to accept these, which will accept the screws. So that will go on one end. And I've got a rebate on the other end for this one. And this one has a twist on it because one side of the mechanism has a screw coming out one way and the other one has the other way has it going the other way. I'll show you when I come to attach it, it'll be easier than it trying to explain it. And I'm gonna epoxy those on one each end. And I'm gonna wind a string around it to reinforce it and then I'm gonna cut cover the whole thing in epoxy glaze. Is that waterproof it? I've got some pre-mixed epoxy because I'm sure no one wants to watch me mix epoxy it's quite dull so that goes on there When that sets up, I'll drill through that hole there to wind the string through, I'll thread the fruit, drill through it, and I'll hold it tight. But for now, I'll use these clamps. Which are cunningly disguised as clothes pegs. So that's at that end. And this is fiddly now because it's quite a long piece. Let's put it there. I need extra pairs of hands for this. And this goes on that end. Like that. So that's aligned perfectly. And that's aligned perfectly. Fantastic. I'll drill these out wide to accept the screws. And then I can work out where on the door that leave mechanism needs to be attached to. So that's all perfectly aligned. Alright, let's wait, wait for this to dry now. And then the next step. Right, that's all glued nicely. I've got glaze over all of it. It's covering all of it quite uniformly, that's good. So that's bonded to there. We've got the string on there. That's holding that nice and tightly. And the same thing on the other end with the twist there. So let's see how that looks on the door. unlocks the latch. So I have a lever over here to rotate round, pull on that, unlock it and that will allow me to unlock the latch when I'm indoors through the gap in the hinge.
Right, here's our sketch up for the bracket. Got a rough sketch here, using the lever as a guide, working out the amount of travel I need. Drawing it, drawing it out of there, got the lever here. That's the bottom plate which will, which will sit onto, move up and down. I'll have a nut in there glued in countersunk so this will sit in it as a bearing. I've got this here to go in here, which acts as a spacer, and then this over the top, which will go over the top of the bottom bit there. So next step is to make this out of wood, cut out this blue bit, that bit and that part, test fit them all together and then mount the nuts inside it. Last night I dropped some more detailed plans. So we have these originally, then I drew up these and I use those to make these parts. So the next job will be cutting out these waste areas here and then gluing them together. This is a double thickness part because this plywood is actually half the thickness of the stuff I use for the handle. So that would be the spacer which goes on there. That will be cut out. That will sit in there and then this will go on the top. So let's cut these out and then glue them up and glaze them. Right, let's glue that together. Right, it is the next day. All the parts are glued. They've all got a coating of epoxy glaze for weatherproofing. I've added some threaded inserts here, some hex pillars, so that I can put this in here like that. That goes on top. And then the front screws on, which means if it needs 
maintenance of any sort, I can unscrew it to take it apart. So that goes in there. That goes in there. And this moves freely like that. That will sit on the door. Putting on that will pull the lever. Which will unlock the latch. So let's fix that to the door. Ah, it works. It's working. Tremendous. Here we go. Elaborate. But it works. Okay, that was the third and final part of my overly elaborate backdoor catch build. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up, um, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.